So we made it to the lighthouse. Yeah. Here we are. Beautiful. Hey, Kraken crew, Allison Lucan back with you for another episode of Uncharted. Really looking forward to this one. We're spending time with Defender Adam Larson. Hey, guys. Today, we're going to take a walk through Discovery Park. What do you say, Lars? Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, Lars. Have you spent a lot of time outdoors? What about being in Seattle has appealed to you? Uh, yeah. I mean, the nature here is beautiful, so... Uh... That's kind of how I grew up too, uh, with a lot of nature and a lot of snow. So it's, it's very similar. And obviously being close to the water is a big factor. I like the water a lot. Um, fits me, fits me like a glove. So when he said Northern Sweden, where you're from, mm -hmm. much more of a quiet personality, mm -hmm. how do you describe that part of the world? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I mean, it's no big cities up there, so yeah. people kind of tend to stick to their own business. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little different. I, I don't know how I should explain this, but it's, I like it up there. It's, I go back every summer and that's where we, we spend our summer. So it's, it's just so calm and, and relaxing, especially when it, when in the season you go to all these big cities and yeah. it's kind of hectic schedule. So it's nice to kind of just uh, take a deep breath when you're coming home. I feel like we're walking to a haunted house. Yeah, this is how a scary movie starts. This park is by the water, isn't it? Yep, we're gonna go out to um, a lighthouse oh, okay. and see the water. Nice. So, so let me ask you this then. I'm curious. Did you always want to play defense? Because it is kind of an unsung. Yeah, that's a good question. I uh, growing up, I think I played every position <laughs> possible. I was even goalie at a time. And hey. That was not something I really enjoy that much it was <laughs> my dad played was a defenseman too so yeah that kind of brought me that way I'm kind of have the size for it yeah. um, and I wasn't the best skater growing up too so I don't know I feel like the slower slower guys always leans towards playing defense I play defense Adam are you calling me slow no <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding this is nice Look at that. Isn't that insane? Wow. That's gorgeous. That is nice. This is the largest park in Seattle. Yeah. Wow. And I have this app. If you take a picture of the mountains, it'll tell you what the mountains are. Look, see that? Wow. I need that app too. Oh, look, here's the biggest one, the Brothers. Oh no, this one's bigger, Mount Constant 7756. I love the way people design trails like this where they intentionally make it to all of a sudden. Yeah. It comes oh, up. this is beautiful. Awesome. Look at this. Oh, look. Mo Mount Rainier. Rainier. It's so big compared to the other mountains. It's kind of crazy. Should we go check out the lighthouse? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. This was a beautiful view. This is stunning. That's what I like too. Like we're close, but we feel far away. Yeah. You know? I've never been here actually. This is awesome. So we made it to the lighthouse. Yeah. Here we are. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a crazy question for you. A lot of guys have their own personal takes on game prep and how they, what they want to do in terms of being ready for a game. Mm -hmm. With your base layer, you cut a deep V. What is the origin of the deep V? It's not a deep story behind it, <laughs> honestly. It's it's more like I don't feel like having something tight around my neck. Yeah. That's why I cut it. And then eventually now I have some guys kind of come and just ripped it a little bit more, a little bit more. And I don't know, it's just been, it's I've, I've always done it, but I feel like since it's been a thing here in Seattle, it kind of goes a little deeper and deeper <laughs> as we go. Do you like the nickname Big Cat? I don't know. I haven't put my 
much thought into it. Have you ever had a different nickname? No. It's either, that's my first real one. Okay. And then Lars is the original, I would okay. say. Okay. How did Big Cat happen? I have no clue. This, I feel like this just popped out of the blue one day and then <laughs> you guys caught up to it and then. <laughs> so I have to ask you this. Uh -huh. So there is a story going around about how much work your defensive partner Vince Dunn put in this off season because he wanted to continue to play with you. What have you done to mentor him or to help him? Yeah, I mean, it's the hour he put in in the summer. I don't know, I can just see a different sort of drive in him this year. And I don't know, I, I'm very proud of him. I think he's earned every right to and is has put down the work and it's been a huge part of our team. He's raised it on every level and that kind of shows now. And I, I, ho I really hope that he understands how good he can be if he continue, continue playing like this. And he will even grow, even turn better. I mean, a D-man usually peaks when they're around their 30s. So he, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good, good D-man for a lot of, a lot of years to come. So. Is a, is a defenseman who just hit 30, do you feel like you're at your peak? That was a uh, setup. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I mean, when you're in it, it's hard to tell where I'm just kind of on a point now where I'm enjoying the ride and enjoying life. I mean, NHL is a privilege and I don't know, it's so many great things with, with this league. It's a lot of hectic days but it comes with a lot of great stuff as well so it's it's what we all dream of and some days you're more thankful for it and some you're not so it's no it's been it's been a lot of fun